going on everyone? If this intro looks familiar, because it is a little bit, but I have an upgraded bed rack here that Hook Road sent me. Um, the people from hookroad.com, they reached out, they loved the Jeep build and they wanted to contribute pieces to it. So super stoked about that because what we have in front of us today is a full size bed rack, which is going to match the top level of the Jeep Gladiator. Box looks super beat up because the poor FedEx lady was trying to get it up my steps. It weighs a pretty good amount and it's pouring rain outside. So that's why the box is in such bad condition, but um, I'm sure everything inside's all wrapped up nice. So we're gonna go ahead, break it open, check it out, make sure all the parts are here and then get this full height bed rack from Hook Road put together. Pretty stoked, let's see how it goes. Sweet. So they did package it with a lot of styrofoam, which is awesome to see. We'll go ahead and dig through the styrofoam blocks here, pull out the pieces and set them off to the side. Alrighty, and then here in this box we have what will be the side panels for the bed rack. So all in all we've got everything we need to get this bed rack built. I'm super excited to get this process rolling and change out the half height bed rack that I have on now for this full height bed rack from Hook Road. Also, if you haven't noticed, got the new merch on. This is the Embroidered Life Outdoors merch featuring a little Life Outdoors embroidery on the sleeve as well. Got a hat, got a little bit of everything, so check those items out below as well if you want to get some Life Outdoors merch. Hi guys, we're back. It's a new day. I have all the pieces laid out here for the bed rack in front of me. And we're gonna get this hook 18.8 inch tall overland bed rack system put together and mounted up to the Jeep Gladiator. Over top? Yep. Okay, so just like that, fits in over top of it, bolt, washer, and then lock washer on the bottom side. Or lock nut, sorry. We are just gonna go hand tight for the time being because we're gonna need to adjust the width depending on how these fit in the bed of the Gladiator. Yeah, so it's really just that simple. Super easy. Four bolts and you got a, a leg built. All right, that's number two. Sweet. That was easy enough. All right, so now that we have the three of these made, we'll go ahead and get them set up in the Jeep and get the width corrected for the bed. So at this point, I've got my first one on. We've got the approximate width that we want. These bolts on the top are still loose. I went ahead and put the pads on under the feet here to protect the bed. And then I also laid in all of the mounting brackets that are used as mounting points in the trail rails. So now that we have general width locked in, this gets locked in in the middle, and then the other two pieces attach to the two sections connecting all three. And then let's 
see if that one needs the same. All right, now we need to figure out how long we want this. So I'm pretty happy with where it is in the front. However, I think that we could probably shift the back one a little bit further back. So we'll go ahead and do that and go pretty much to the furthest spot that we can. Alrighty, so like I was saying guys, next step, put these side panels on, make sure that we have our length dialed in, and then we can lock everything down and get it mounted in place. So we're getting close. rather have more mounting points than too few, so I'm not going to complain about that at all. Alrighty, so as you guys can see, repeated the process on both sides so now it's completely put together nothing's tightened down yet but our next step is going to be to mount to the base plates here to our new trail rails and then once that's complete then i'll go through and tighten up every single bolt that i just put on this so all you have to do really is stand it up with one finger kind of give it some pressure against it and then just get the bolt started with the other finger So, those are both attached. Now let's see how tightening up goes. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that feels good. All right, so at this point, got it all mounted up. I just need to tighten the three bolts on each side that are holding the tent down to the rack itself. And then future plans, I'm gonna boost this by about three inches so that way I can slide the tent way far forward and give myself a lot more room back here when I'm working under the Jeep. But it's so much more space in here. Super easy install for this rack. Uh, couldn't be happier about how quick that went on and how sturdy it feels. I mean, this thing is rock solid and combined with the trail rails, just overall a huge upgrade for what we got going on.